there and welcome to the Conscious Coping Club. I'm Lori Sharp Page and I'm bringing my expertise as a psychotherapist and my baggage as a human and my hunch that learning how to cope will be a lot more fun when we do it together. On this week's episode, we're exploring the feeling of embarrassment. So get ready to invest in your mental health right here on the Conscious Coping Club, where we cope better together. I want to start by talking about a feeling I think that we all love, embarrassment. Embarrassment is a powerful emotion, one that a lot of us, including myself, will do almost anything to avoid. But can embarrassment be avoided? Yes, sure, for a period of time, you probably can, but at what cost? This is a story I want to share with you today about embarrassment and what the cost of avoiding it has entailed. Embarrassment is a complex emotion, a feeling that springs up when we least expect it. It often appears when we've stumbled either metaphorically or literally, and we find ourselves the focus of unwelcome attention or judgment from ourselves or others. In my own life, I've spent the better part of this last year tiptoeing around situations to avoid this potent feeling. And believe me, the cost of doing so has been quite high. I've missed out on opportunities, dodged experiences that might have enriched me or got me closer to my goals, and shied away from forming deeper connections. All because I was too afraid of that all too familiar hot flush of embarrassment. I was so fearful of it that I shut down and coped very ineffectively with it by just avoiding it. Does this sound familiar? Because I know it's not just me. We all have our own stories of embarrassment, moments we've replayed in our mind wishing we could rewrite, or moments that cause us fear when we think about what we're going to write into the future. And that can make it really hard to put yourself out there again. These stories often come with their own cost, lost chances, skipped events, sidestepped interactions, all because we're scared of the potential of a moment of embarrassment. But what if we could know that we could tolerate whatever feeling we may have in the future? What if we leaned into the inherent discomfort that happens at times in our lives, holding them in regard instead of disdain? As I've learned in the past year, there's a value in these uncomfortable moments. When you don't have them, you don't go anywhere. There are the opportunities for growth, understanding ourselves better and becoming stronger. And so if you find yourself struggling to cope with embarrassment or you just simply are like me and have great fear of it, join me in learning a more effective way of coping with embarrassment. For when we face embarrassment head on, we also face our fears. We learn to laugh at ourselves, develop resilience, and open ourselves up to new experiences beyond just embarrassment. So join me on this journey as we explore, understand, and ultimately learn to embrace the power within embarrassment. That's all for this episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Join me in this journey at ConsciousCoping.club, where we navigate the labyrinth of life together with intention, courage, and a sense of discovery. Make sure to like and follow for more great content. And until next time, don't just cope, consciously cope.